So the positives are, are we played much better football than we did uh, first weekend. That's, uh, that's soccer for you, right? Uh, good game on our part this weekend, and we didn't get the win. And last weekend, I thought we were outplayed, and we got the three points. But uh, huge improvement from uh, last weekend to this weekend as far as the type of football we want to play, the chances we created, uh, our ball possession. And uh, when it comes together, like I said, it's going to be a, a special team, and it already is to, um, you know, being in two games into the season. But uh, got to give uh, the Spirit a lot of credit because they also play a similar style, and they had their chances. We had our hard chances, an entertaining game, and they went their way today. All right, we'll go to questions online. Go ahead, Alyssa. Marissa and Jemmy. Hi, Marissa. Hi, I was just wondering, um, what's the status of Alice Valera? I know she wasn't with the team today. Do you have any updates on So that's an internal matter that we're dealing with, and um, that's all we can talk about for now. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Um, hello, coach. Hello. Um, congratulations on the loss. Um, I wanted to ask about Asisato Shoala. It seems that sometimes she tends to be a little away from the box, where we know she's the most dangerous. So what do you think the team needs to need to do to fix this and to provide her with more balls? We just, need, we just need to spend more time uh, getting to know each other and training and getting things right. Uh, like I said, it's a huge improvement from last weekend. We had a lot of ball possession. And now uh, as we continue to practice, we're going to move further up the field. So she's getting the ball in, in really good positions. So it's just a matter of time uh, because obviously we know how dangerous she is around the box. So uh, our goal is to ultimately get to that point. Jason Master Dodano. Hey, Coach, uh, just wondering what you thought of uh, the way you guys handled the outside part of the field today, particularly with Savvy uh, and Trinity going up against each other. What did you see from, uh, from the way you guys handled that? So, uh, obviously, you know, Trinity is a very special player. I think she's one of the best forwards in the world. And Savvy uh, did an excellent job with her as the game went on uh, and grew in confidence. So it was a fun matchup to, uh, to watch. And, and you know it was effective on our end when they ended up moving her to the middle. Uh, because uh, she, was, she wasn't having as much success as Trinity typically does. So I thought Savvy did uh, very well with her, and then uh, we also provided some support and help. Uh, so it was actually an excellent battle, which is what you want to see in a game like this, two uh, very good players going at each other, and uh, they pretty much canceled each other out, which is okay with us uh, since Trinity's the forward. Do we have any last questions? Any other questions? Hey, Coach. Um, one more. I, I was just curious. You, you, obviously, you guys had a ton of possession today. Um, what do you think was the difference uh, for you guys, and, and how were you able to make adjustments without Alex in there? Uh, well, it's just something that we talked about uh, uh, during the week at practice. It's something we've been working on the entire season. And I think that first game really was more about uh, just a lot of emotions and excitement, adrenaline running through. All. And, uh, you know, they, they played their hearts out, and they – with that fight that we have. Uh, and today we were just a little bit more calm. I mean, we get we got that first game out of the way, a lot of nerves in that first game, and now we're, we're composed, we're controlled, and uh, this is the type of football we want to play. And then it's just, like I said, it's just going to come together uh, with our front runners being more dangerous and getting the balls in the right areas. But so it was really good to see, but it comes down to just uh, a little bit more time and uh, composed. Stop time, buddy. Yeah, and one more, Coach. Uh, what is your assessment of Emily Menga's leadership today in absence of Alex Loera? Thank you. Uh, so I've been saying from the very beginning that we have several uh, leaders on this team, and Emily was outstanding in how she led that back line and control, composed, uh, and she's just, uh, again, so calm under every situation, and I think that uh, is infectious toward the, uh, the rest of the team, so I thought she was uh, outstanding. And, um, and it'll be interesting, next game I might be someone else right now because uh, we've got such uh, talented leaders. Any last questions for Coach? One more, Jason. 
Yeah, sorry to bring it up, but can you just take us through the final play and, and what you saw, what, what happened there? Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, I, I have to go back and watch the video. Um, obviously, we gave a free kick there at the end, and uh, we could have put a little bit more pressure early on. Uh, and then the ball gets played into the box, and that's just uh, mentality and, uh, you know, getting to it first. And it's just, it dropped. It dropped right in front in front of uh, Croy, and uh, she made the most of it. It was, uh, it was just kind of interesting because it was right there in the middle, bounced a couple times. Uh, this is from, I remember in my head right now, I have to go back to the video. Uh, but, yeah, it's just unfortunate, and we've got, that's another thing that teams have to always work on. And uh, uh, since we're in a little bit new, we have to work on that, uh, you know, final moments of the game and game management so we can uh, see it out because a point in, uh, in Washington would have been uh, a great result. But, again, I keep saying this, we played a very good game today as far as the brand of football we want to play, so we'll take that, and that's a huge positive for us. All right, we'll wrap on that one. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I think today we played better football. Um, we've definitely possessed the ball. We had good ideas. Um, it wasn't the full game that we wanted. Last week we got lucky with the result, and this time we got the football. So um, next week we're hoping to combine both of them, get the result, and um, play great football. Do have any questions for Caprice? If you do have a question, use the raise your hand function. Jason? Hey, Caprice. Um, I was just wondering what you thought of the way you guys possessed the ball today. What was different for you guys today? Yeah, I think we were braver on the ball. Um, we weren't rushed. I think we felt uh, confident. I The playing style we want to play, um, I think we incorporated that. And um, Albertine just said just having confidence, being able to want the ball and um, be able to solve the problems that we want instead of just booting it and um, being more being more aggressive on their front side on our attack. I'm Tom Cody. Please, thank for your time. Um, so we know that in a league like in WSL, everybody wants results right away, right away. But the Bay is a new team. So how, how do you handle that pressure so you don't get impatient with yourself or uh, as an individual and with the team? Thank you. Yeah, um, we're an expansion team, and it's going to take time. Um, but Albertine kind of emphasized that we want don't want to have that mindset of being an expansion team, and we're going to take time to get better. But at the same time, um, it's a progression. We want to peak at the right time. We want to keep getting better and better. And um, last week was just the ground of the bottom, and um, we want to keep taking our steps up. And I think this is a step up, but we just got to have the whole 90-plus minute um, per full performance. Any other questions for Caprice? Jenna? Hey, Caprice, uh, Jenna Tonelli. Um, just, you know, obviously you're you're a veteran leader on this team. You're used to the wins, you're used to the losses. So how do you kind of take that mindset for, for yourself just to kind of clear your head and go into the next game? And then also, you know, how do you kind of use that for some of the younger players on your squad um, who are part of like an expansion team to, to kind of move on to the next? Yeah, um, I think this, everyone knows the season's really long. Um, every point matters. Um, as the season goes on, uh, we're just going to have to keep progressing and keep getting better each week. And um, I think getting a point on the road is always great. And last week we got lucky. Um, but I think we just got to learn from this, move on quickly, because we have a quick turnaround for our home opener. And um, like you said, we have a lot of veterans and a lot, lot of young girls, and um, I think we just got to learn that we need to we need to have a full 90-plus 90 90 performance um, in order to gain those wins and um, get points on the road. Last question for Caprice. Steph, Yang? Uh, thanks, Caprice. It's Steph Young from The Athletic. Um, I'm just wondering, again, two games in, right, or just the beginning of the season, but how are you feeling, you know, with Dana and Tess Bode, your guys' ability to stretch the field vertically and kind of, or to help create an overload together? Yeah, um, it's kind of been like a recent, uh, like, our collaboration on the right side. Um, Dana joined us late in preseason, and um, Tess is really a nine, and she kind of just got thrown out there, and I think she's doing amazing. Um, and so I really enjoy 
uh, playing with them. Like Albertine said, we're all good footballers, so um, I think we are good at interchanging and comfortable on the ball. And um, I think we th thrive in uh, trying to under pressure and solving problems. And I think that if we can keep being successful and get goals, um, we'll be unstoppable. So I think we just want to keep building on that, and um, hopefully we get a full full performance next week. Perfect. Thanks, Caprice. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Back in Washington, and you got a goal tonight. Just thoughts on the match overall? Yeah, I thought we played well overall. Um, see, there are definitely things that we need to work on, and we'll go back and watch film and um, try to work on some of our connections and um, just better interplay with each other. But overall, I think it was a pretty decent showing for us. I mean, coming to Spirit's home opener, that's um, – it's a tough crowd to play in front of, so, yeah. All right, any questions online? Is it here? Jason? Hi, Dorian. Um, just take us through the, the goal that you scored and, and what that moment was like for you. Yeah, so I saw the ball get played in behind and Z is running onto it. Um, I saw her look across the box and I was like, I know I have to get in the box to be on the end of this. So she took a great touch and an amazing cross um, right to me. And she really made it easy for me. I just had to tap it in. Steph? Oh, thanks. Uh, Steph, you're on from The Athletic. Yeah, um, besides the goal, just obviously it's two games in and Caprice was talking about that, trying to manage, like she said, Albertine didn't want you guys thinking, oh, we're an expansion team, we gotta take time, but also like the realism of the situation. But at the same time, you know, what's your evaluation so far of your ability to kind of dominate in the half space, but also drift centrally, you know, to put yourself in good goal scoring position? Yeah, I think being an expansion team, sometimes you can fall back on that of, oh, we're an expansion team, but we are not doing that like we're a team in this league and we want to be like completely level with every other team in this league so for us that has not been like a discussion topic um but I've also loved being able to play in the midfield this year more so and uh, yeah finding those half spaces and being able to get in the box on the end of crosses and we've had a lot of like obviously the, the goal today but just like getting service in and finding those pockets has been like really key for our attack um but yeah just we're an expansion team but we're here to play any final questions for dorian stump town thank you hi dorian thank you for your time um, so next game will be finally at home. What are you looking forward the most regarding that? Thank you. I'm really looking forward to the fans and with that home opener, just feeling the energy and it's going to be really cool. And just having all the fans and playing in that stadium for the first time, I think it's just going to be a really cool experience.